Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Democracy 4 with me, Alpha Pi Omega, in France. So in the last episode we have gone over all of the basics of the game and today we are going to jump right into it. Or today, well, these episodes came up right after each other, but, you know, right now we are going to jump into the game and try to see what we have to do here. Now. First things first, let's look at what we really want to do here. Now, the fact that we need to get uh, re-elected is a given. We need to be here after the next elections. So we can't really uh, make people hate us too much. But still, we need to take some drastic steps. The reason for that is what I already said, the country's deficit, which is just skyrocketing. The global economy is actually doing kind of good right now, while our relative GDP is not that good. So I'll need to do a couple of things to increase the GDP, which some of them will seem a bit contraintuitive, like cutting taxes. Uh, well, actually, no. We need th that, that does sound okay. You can increase your GDP by cutting taxes, but we need to increase our income by cutting taxes. What I mean by this is taxes come from GDP. The bigger GDP you have, the better you are, but some things very negatively affect your GDP. For example, uh, doo -doo -doo, yeah, well, payroll tax, I'm not gonna cancel, but Payroll tax very negatively affects the GDP. If we lowered it, it would actually help. We wouldn't need to, we wouldn't need to lower it all the way to the minimum. It would be kind of enough to drop it from high to medium, and the effect would be completely gone. And by increasing the GDP, you actually start getting the uh, overall boost of your economy and then you get more taxes even though your taxes are lower. So that is one thing that I need to do. I also need to get rid of many of these negative effects, especially in the corporate exodus. The corporate exodus is one of the worst things that you can get. Look at this. You know, the corporate exodus is currently the thing that's taking our GDP down the most, so it's a priority target for us. Uh, I would also like to get rid of the uncompetitive economy, but that is a really thing for the long run. We need to increase our productivity, which is not that bad, but bad for us anyway. And you can see that there is a lot of problems here. We have a high alcohol consumption, the labor laws, maternity leave, respiratory disease, unemployment. The best way how to increase your productivity, in my opinion, is basically just to boost the technology. If you can increase your technology, that greatly increases your productivity and can kill uh, the uncompetitive economy. But there's also <laughs> one more thing that I need to mention. There's many, 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 many more hidden uh, negative situations and positive situations that we don't see here. So by playing the game, you actually create new problems for yourselves. For example, if your GDP starts going really up and your people get rich, you can create a real estate bubble that will hurt your youth and poor groups. You know, and, and then what do you do? Well, you enact state housing to take it down, but that can create another problem. So, you know, there, there's a vicious cycle where you just need to change these things all at once and just keep them at a certain balance. So, okay, uh, that's the thing that I wanted to speak about at the very beginning. So we need to get rid of the corporate exodus and the uncompetitive economy as we play. Uh, we also need to get rid of the rail strike, and I am not entirely sure if we will ever be able to get rid of the hospital overcrowding. That one is a, it's awful to deal with. I think that you can effectively kill it by increasing the state healthcare to max, but it does not it in itself increase enough 
So healthcare demand is based on bad health. We have relatively good health. So uh, immigration, lifespan, population. Yeah, there's a lot of things that affect this. It's a it's too many moving parts to deal with that right now. So we don't have a lot of political power. Uh, we will be getting quite a decent amount at the very beginning because quite a lot of our ministers support us. So that's good. Uh, so let's start by small things. Now some of these will not maybe make sense in the very beginning, but I can assure you they will make sense in the long run. First step that I always do is I check if we have the mention tax. We do. Mention tax is one of the worst things that you can have. It's, well, hopefully it's the only one that we have. Yeah. Uh, I remember this from Democracy 3, and it's also in Democracy 4. Mention tax together with the luxury good tax are two things that can cause the negative state called brain drain. If you have these two on, or one of them, it will kill your economy. There's going to be a third thing that's going to pop very soon that's called brain drain, and that is the death of our GDP. So then you have an uncompetitive economy, you lack the skilled people that you need to make the country work, and you have a problem with productivity. You know, that's that's just terrible. So we're going to start by cancelling the mention tax. Uh, I myself hate this uh, as, a, as a thing itself. I am kind of okay with the property tax, which is, by the way, incredible here. I'm not sure where it is, but I think that we have a property tax of something like 50, 50%. Oh, 66, which is insane in itself, but uh, that does not bother me that much right now. Uh, on top of the property tax, there's also a mansion tax, which I'm going to cancel right now and get rid of it. Uh, so that effect is gone and we are safe. Now that's you know, quite a big hit to our political power. So let's just look at some of the things that we can enact. There are some very cheap, very good uh, things that you can do really quickly to boost your economy because they basically, uh, they, will, they, they won't help fast, but they are key to having a good economy. One of these is the National Business Council. The establishment of National Business Council gives a strong voice to business interests and ensures that the need of the business, both big and small, are taken into account. The council serves as a way to promote capitalism and enterprise and get across the message that the corporate world has much to offer, creates employment and prosperity. So basically you listen to the people that are doing business. You can see that it um, lowers the opinion of socialists, but it increases the... Well, actually, I think... Uh, did I read that wrong? Well, I'm going to enact it anyway, so we can just go ahead and take it. Uh, and we'll see the effects there. So I'm going to implement it. Oh, okay. It does not. Uh, it does not decrease the opinion of socialists. It lowers the uh, membership of socialism group. I'm going to max it out. You can see that it helps a bit with the GDP, uh, but for the fact that it costs 174 million per turn, it's a big effect. It's going to take a while to. Yeah, implementation delay two turns, so it's gonna take a bit to kick into effect, but it's gonna be a good amount of help. So let's apply that. I also immediately uh, take, and I don't see it here, rural development grants. These are a blessing, and it's kind of understandable. We don't have enough power for that right now, so we're gonna do that in the next uh, turn, but... I like a couple of others too. Hmm, do we have anything here right now? Well, the business startup campaign is actually pretty good, uh, but I am gonna go with the Trade Council. That's another really good one. It has always been a hassle to find trustworthy trading partners in foreign countries. With the establishment of the Trade Council, this will become easier now, as potential trade partners are listed here 
and make offers themselves. This will increase international trade and boost the economy. So this is an indirect effect to the GDP. We're going to pay 120 million for that um, every turn, but you can see that it boosts international trade and foreign relations. Uh, where did that go with the next economy? It's here somewhere now. Yeah, here it is. So international trade itself uh, affects a number of things. Uh, it affects air travel, CO2 emissions, lowers food price and increases the GDP as you can see. So we want it up. We want it up and up. And foreign relations itself affect things like foreign aid received, foreign investments, uh, tourism, and tourism, I think, also increases GDP. So these two are very cheap and very good, and they're going to help. They're going to listen to the people that do business. Okay, I think that we are done for this turn. A cycling campaign. We don't have a really big problem with obesity. We have a problem with street gangs, though. Uh, this one has to go. It makes everyone mad and it increases also violent crime which can cause some really nasty effects if they kick in so a really good thing here is to increase the budget of the police force which you can see will fairly well lower corruption street gangs crime and violent crime but there's a cheaper way how to deal with street gangs and the less um, less threatening types of crime and that's community policing community policing does marvels and is fairly cheap you can see that it has about uh well what did we do here 255 million so if i go to the maximum we're gonna spend about oh it's not a triple but two and a half times more and you can see crime will go down even violent crime racial tensions will go down Membership in liberalism, liberalism will increase, but unemployment loans and street gangs uh, will have twice the negative effect. And it costs nothing to change it. So that's a very good one. Uh, here you can see the estimated effect. It's going to take a while. Yeah, there's an implementation delay of five turns, so it's a long-term one. And CCTV cameras are also very good, uh, but they are... well, they're not that expensive. But they, they are hate. No, actually, they're not. Street gangs, conservatives like it, violent crime, crime. Oh, yeah, liberals hate it. Yeah, up on the top here, you can see that that would negatively affect them. They'd much rather invest more into the police force because you can see that it's gonna lower the unemployment a bit as well, and other things will be. But more to the point if we increase our GDP the unemployment is gonna go down that's also very important because most of the street gang is coming from unemployment and poverty so we need to lower that it's also kind of interesting how the game models the things you have a starch trigger which was passed here and then to get rid of it you need to pass the stop trigger so you can be safely here but once you get over it you the effect activates and you need to crash down very low to get rid of it so we'll see how much this uh will be of an effect we have free political power right now and we do something with the rail strike that's actually a very easy way how to deal with this and that's cancel the state rail company uh or i could basically turn it because right now it's costing us six and a half billion and i could just make it to an income of 2.41 billion uh, it might not be a bad i don't think rail strike needs to go right now so we might try i, I never tried it i just get rid of the uh rail company altogether we have other ones we also have the state uh wait thing it well we can find it in the expenses and there's a state railroad company there's a uh, state telecom company that you can also turn around to an income which is not bad it would be another how much would that be 14 okay that's gonna be expensive to do but we'll try it next turn and there's one more which is i think the 
Electrics Company. Oh, State Energy Company here. So that one could also generate some income for us. Trade unions. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. No, I'm not entirely sure. Cancel. Uh, Why did we? Yeah, we didn't do anything. So expenses, the state energy company, if we check that, what does... Okay, there's only one effect and that's socialism. Mm, I hope there's no crisis hidden behind it. Well, let's end the turn and check what the game would do to us. So, uh, here's a quarterly report. The first turn is behind us. Uh, we have a major donor abandoned party. That's great. Strong leader impression level by 20%. Okay, uh, we have a budget report. Our credit rating... Wait, wait, wait. Our credit rating is growing at just B. We need to fix this. In the through growing our GDP, cutting expenses, or increasing taxation. If we manage to get our credit rating improved, the cost for our debt interest is going to just drop like a rock. Oh my god! It's 30 billion now. Holy hell, it jumped up like crazy. Wasn't it 10? Damn it. Well, okay. Uh, economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well. That's fine. Uh, we would get 46% of the vote in an election right now, and the vote of our ministers can be described as loyal. We managed to improve health, education, crime is lowering, unemployment is lowering, and poverty is lowering. No change to the GDP so far. And we have a special opportunity, oil drilling opportunity. All companies are keen to get permissions to drill for oil in part of the country protected as wildlife refuge. The oil supplies under the refuge are considerable, but the drilling would have a negative impact on the environment. Well, we can allow the drilling or prevent it, and I'm gonna prevent it. This valuable wildlife refuge would be devastated by oil exploration. This is one of our nation's great natural treasures and it would be criminal to wreck it just to boost domestic oil production. Drilling in this part of the country will not entirely remove our dependence on foreign oil, but it will spoil our natural environment for future generations. Let's prevent it. Okay, it has just an effect on uh, capitalists and environmentalists. Okay, so we now have 20 power, um, which is very good. Uh, we really need to do something to that deficit. Okay, so the state travel company, I can turn it around, can't I? Yeah, so that would change it by 8 billion. That's actually pretty good. Let's get it. And I have 6 left. Can I introduce the... I can't. We need to do that next next time. The rural development grants are extremely important. They help with pretty much everything. So this one needs to come really soon. Uh, how much are you? Took the capital two to six, the environment. I like to keep the country tidy campaign. It's very cheap and it helps the environment. Actually, the environment is really important for everything. There's a lot of effects and right now it's lowering the respiratory disease quite significantly for us. It's actually kind of funny that if we could get rid of the tobacco, which I will eventually, we could kind of lower it. What's the tobacco? And then the buffer? Yeah, tobacco awareness campaign. It costs six as well. Well, let's end the turn. Uh, we need more uh, more political capital to do the rural grants. So, good news, the global economy is doing well. We are still be okay. Uh, people are starting to like us a bit. Oh, okay, we have some threats here. People are mm, joining the groups uh, that kind of hate us. Well, that's not great, but it's not bad at all for now and we have torture deportation police officers have arrested a con man who is staying in our country illegally under normal circumstances he would be eligible to be deported back to his country of origin the man claims that if sent back to his homeland it is likely he will be tortured by the government deport him or keep him here 
Well, uh, he's a con man who is here illegally. He never really tried to ask for asylum, so I think I'm going to deport him. This man has nobody to blame for the situation but himself. He arrived here illegally and has operated as a criminal since he got here. If he had quit political asylum when he arrived and not began a life of crime, it would be a different matter. In the circumstances, we must take his claim of torture threats with a pinch of salt. Yes. So patriots would be happy, but compassionate um, viewing of me and liberals are pissed. Oh, okay. So now we have 22 political capital. I'm gonna go overboard on the... Actually, how's the deficit doing? We manage... Uh, the global economy is dropping. Uh, income... Expenditures... Oh, no. That's still a bind gap. Okay, let's get the... Uh, where are they? Rural Development Grants. I mentioned that they are very good, and here you will see why. If we max them out, they cost 2.6 billion. Look at the effect of GDP. Look at the happiness of farmers and the equality. It also increases the poor earnings and drastically lowers unemployment. It increases the membership of the farmers, that's true, uh, and also car and rail usage, but I am okay with this. The GDP is just a blessing. So let's apply. That leaves us with 9. Uh, can we do something with the expenses? Uh, I honestly am for dropping the military a bit, but it's a bit too expensive right now. We could do that next time. Uh, yeah, the state row. Wow, the implementation delay is 24. Jesus. I think that if we just canceled it, we could get some money from the privatization. Um, uh, that's, that is really bad. We could boost the science funding to about a double, and that would really help with the GDP, energy efficiency, technology, state employees, and lower the unemployment a bit. But I need to lower the expenses, uh, otherwise our credit rating will be dropped. Uh, okay, let's save a bit on the military. Let's go with the maximum. How much will we save? Two billion. Okay, wait. Is there anything else that we could? I'm not gonna take. Attack... I'm not gonna take down the pensions or the state health service. That's too cruel. Uh, unemployment, disabled item benefits, we could cut that. That's insane. A direct payment from the state to the disabled people to allow for the fact that they are possibly unable or need assistance to work. Yeah, we can't do that, that's just too cruel. Uh, road building, science funding. Maybe introduce. Wait, alcohol tax. Uh, I noticed that it was fairly low. Where's the bottle? Here. Okay, so that would not do much. Okay, no. The junk food tax. Okay, let's get it up. Uh, it's gonna increase poverty a bit, but um, it helps fight the obesity, so let's do that and end the turn. Okay, uh, national team wins World Cup. Okay, people are now happy. Uh, economic forecast, good news. Okay, so now we have the deficits of 43 billion still. That's it's getting worse. Uh, okay, 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 but we have, we are doing well, we are doing well, so let's see if we can increase the alcohol tax from 2% to 75%, that's gonna make poor and equality suffer, but alcohol consumption will drop, and that is something that we really need to do, and we're gonna get quite a lot of money from that too, which is important. 
and I will also, yeah, tobacco will come next. But oh, wait, there was another thing. Uh, you wanted the expenses, the military spending. Yeah, we're gonna temporarily sack it to reservists or white defensive. That's gonna make unemployment worse, lower the amount of state employees, but we just need to do that. It's gonna take 10 turns to take effect, but yeah, it has to be done. We need to cut the expenses ASAP. Okay, so we can see the crime is very low, but poverty is increasing, unfortunately. But we have gained our first positive effect, called Egalitarian Society. With these ones, it works the same. It's much harder to, harder to trigger them, but, uh, you know, then you are kind of okay. So, Egalitarian Society. Understanding our different backgrounds better and better these days, due to cultural exchanges and education, people are now treating each other equally, blurring and even erasing the lines between different races, genders and beliefs. Living in such a society makes people very happy and less likely to cause harm to others. So crime is lowered and everyone is happier, which is awesome. Uh, and we have Factor Farming Law. A campaign for the tightening of animal welfare standards on farms is gaining momentum. A law has been proposed that would set higher minimum standards for the space, food and access to outdoors that is available to animals in intensive farming establishments. Hmm. Set tougher standards. It's about time we did something to ensure animals are not suffering in intensive farming. Most people would be horrified if they saw the conditions some animals are kept in. Mm. Let's set tougher standards. Farmers and capitals would be mad. But environmentalists are worse. Oh, this hurts the GDP. I did not know that. Mm. Well, never mind. It's not a big effect. Okay, our deficit is starting to go down. Uh, I'm kind of worried that the GDP, well, it will increase eventually, it will increase eventually. We have 15, wow, okay, our people are starting to, our ministers are starting to be a bit mad at us. Uh, now, the science funding, that's something that I wanted to deal with. So let's increase it to max and sack some. Okay, we always sack this. I think we might have to touch the disable with the benefits. Wait, is there something other that I could do? Uh, Yeah, let's lower the state energy company. Okay. So, GDP is dropping actually, but crime is almost at a minimum. Unemployment is increasing, this is not great. Something is affecting it negatively. Uh, I haven't still dealt with the uncompetitive economy and the corporate exodus, which we will need. And the corporation tax is just insane. I'm probably not going to dump it to a minimum, but we need to dump it. So where would the sweet spot be? We're getting 13 billion. If I drop it to 5%, then we're gonna stop hurting the GDP and the corporate exodus will go bye-bye. Okay, let's do that. So we need to see how this affects us. Toxic waste dump. A proposal has been put forward to construct a major toxic waste dump in our country. This facility will be very large, potentially creating many jobs in its construction, but there are concerns about its effects on the environment. Uh... Let's go with prevent construction. The environmentalists will be happy. Okay, so let's see what our situation is like right now. Oh, we want an international withdrawal award. Okay, deficit at 47 billion. Jesus. But yeah, you can see that the uncompetitive economy is taking a huge dump. 
and oh, the corporate exodus is not yet in effect. That's weird. Oh, okay, four turns of inertia. So, what is is that? Well, I guess it's the productivity. Yeah, we increased the investment into education. So that is helping. I think that if we could boost it a bit more, we might have a chance at getting rid of the uncompetitive economy as well. We need something that will boost the productivity. Uh, is there something... Well, the technology grants are really good. I like those. And they're not that expensive. It increases technology, productivity, and the capitalists. So let's get it. But again, we need to slash the expenses somewhere. Yeah, I can't even touch the engines. Where's the... Okay, the state energy company needs to go around. <laughs> Uh, okay, GDP has finally started to take a turn for the better. Poverty is dropping, unemployment is dropping. We're starting to see some positive effects here. Uh, positive discrimination. There are calls for a law to expressly set quotas for the employment of ethnic and other minorities by large corporations and government institutions. This would put pressure on companies to give higher priority to some job candidates than others on the basis of their race, sex, or age. Nope, I'm gonna reject the law. This is a deeply flawed law. It makes no sense to fight discrimination by using discrimination. It creates two problems. That of the minority members who feel they may not have achieved the position on merit and the resentment of the potential employee who has been denied the job. Conservatives like it. Other than that, everybody is mad. Oh, okay. So, how's the GDP looking? Okay, we're starting to see an upwards trend. Corporate exodus is going. That's good. Damn, it dropped. Uh, productivity, where are you? Technology grants will take 8 turns to take effect. Industrial automation will take 16 to take effect. And the adult education subsidies. We boost that. Uh, I don't think we need to. Okay, this is gonna be the last turn for the episode. We have, yeah, our political capital is really bad. We are starting to lose a lot of our minister's faith in us. Just trust me, it's gonna take, take its turn. Where's the tobacco tax? Here. Okay, this would be good, but I don't have enough capital to pass it, so let's just get it to maximum for now. And look at some robotic research grants are good, but let's get the business startup campaign. I like this one a bit. Uh, many people have brilliant ideas, yet only a few of them dare to take the steps necessary to set up their own little business around their idea. This campaign will help these people out, inform them on what they need to do, where they need to go, and what permits they need to get. This will help a great deal and make self-employed people happy. So the membership of the self-employed will increase and their happiness will increase. Socialism is going to drop a bit, but capitalists like this. Uh, popularity is going up, I think. Yeah, most of the mm, very prominent group groups like us. Okay, and on that note, I'm going to end the episode here. It has been a wild ride already. The debt is slowly crawling to 3 trillion euros, but you know, once the GDP kicks in, we need to get it to somewhere like this, and then it will be golden. But yeah, it's a long and arduous road. So, I'll see you in the next episode.